speaking, amen, sometimes. In the midnight hour, God is speaking. When we spontaneously wake out of our sleep, God is speaking, amen, when we incline our ear to his words and allow his words to become a part of our spirit. This is what Satan does not want to have. He does not want to see this populace of people here or anybody else mm -hmm. that can get a word through, amen, and the revelation comes to let them know that the words that come from this book can free you in your spirit. Amen. Can we say amen? amen? And I found, amen, that I've met a good portion of my Christian life not understanding the power that radiated out of this thing. Yes, yes. This thing yes. called, this object called the cross. And the fact that Jesus died there and what he'd done, I simply didn't understand. And day after day, Sunday after Sunday, week after week, year after year, yes. I struggled yes. beyond yes. a shadow of a doubt, amen, just to do, amen, the simple thing right. Yes. And many times I found myself going backwards rather than going forward. Yes. But I can stand before you honestly today. That said, I've been true to you. Amen. Yes. I've been true to her. Yes. That's my wife. I've been true to her. Yes. Amen. I've been true to my children. Amen. Amen. I'm being true to the community because Amen. I ain't got no sad story to tell. Amen. Amen. I know that's right. Jesus can keep you. Yes, can. Jesus can sustain you. Yes. Mm -hmm. He can take the violence out of your hands. Mm -hmm. He can take the wickedness out of your tongue. Yes. Y'all say amen. Yes, he can. He can take the perversion out of your life. Yes. Amen. And as I go to the word today, I'd like to talk about the power of the cross. Amen. There's power in the cross of Jesus. Amen. Let's go to Colossians, the second chapter. I don't know. I kind of feel like working with the letter P today. P is a letter in the alphabet that I guess I'm kind of partial to it because my last name is Pete, Petrie. And so maybe that's one of the reasons why I felt pressed to talk about it. But I believe some things are spirit directed and I follow God's leading the best that I possibly can. Yeah, I found that things work out better when you follow God's leading. Yeah. Second chapter, verse 14 through 15. Second chapter of Colossians, verse 14. Blotting out the handwriting. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was the way nearly to his cross. Of ordinances that cross. was that was against us. Mm -hmm. Read it back again for me, honey. Okay. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances. Of ordinances that was against us. That was against us. Which was contrary, contrary to us and took it out of the way. To the cross. Which was contrary to us mm -hmm. and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. There are some things that God has nailed to the cross. Amen. Some things that Satan has convinced us that we still have to wrestle with, but it's been nailed to the cross a long time ago. Some things that 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 are are, are struggle inwardly. When they've been nailed to the cross a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Can we say amen? Amen. Read. Verse 15. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, crying over them in it, that no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect. Are and holy day are a new moon of the Sabbath day, mm -hmm. which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. Amen. What is Verse 14 and 15 is the scriptures that God laid upon my heart because when I look at these passages and even when I look at this entire chapter and book. The purpose of the gospel is to reveal to us the power of God. The purpose of the cross is to reveal to us what, what is freely given to us that allows us to live a godly life. And when I look at this, it shows me that the power of the cross gives us authority over perverted thoughts. It gives us power over perverted speech. Yes, yes. yes. One of the areas that the body of Christ struggles with so often 
is in the thought life and in the words that we use, the things that we find ourselves habitually saying. Sometimes Satan seizes our lips and our tongue and even our mindset to interrupt our relationship with our Savior. Amen. Amen. But I thank God today because as I look in God's word, his word is telling me here that I've got power over perversion. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I've got power over perversion because yes. Jesus died and because of his sacrifice on the cross and because he was pierced mm. through his in his side and he was pierced with nails in his hands and he was pierced with nails in his feet. And because the blood ran down, we find that without the shedding of blood, there was no remission of sins. sins. Amen. In a sense, when I look at the cross, it is somewhat paradoxical. Yes, yes, yes. It's paradoxical because the word paradox means something in a, that is contrary to a particular opinion. Uh -huh. But when you look into it deeper and look at the facts... You find out what was said contrary is really the truth. Man, yeah, that's true. And so the cross, when we think about it naturally, so the body of Christ probably struggles and is somewhat dealing with aversion with the cross because they think of something negative happening here. Yeah. But in a sense, what Jesus done uh -huh. Come was on not negative. That's Amen. Right. That's right. The cross really is a symbol of victory. Yes. It's a vic a symbol of overcoming. Come on now. Past thoughts. Yes, yes, yes. I'm still yes. working with that P because of, for some reason that P word keeps ringing in my ears. Uh -huh. The cross uh. gives us victory over the past. Can y'all say amen? Amen. amen? amen. The cross gives us victory over perverted thoughts. Amen. Can say amen? Amen. 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 And so the thoughts that I used to struggle with, uh -huh. Satan no longer can cause my mind to That's migrate right. that way. He Come on now. He not cause my mouth to communicate that way because now I've been given inward authority over those impulses. Amen. Amen. 